Hello and welcome to Larry Talks Tech. This is Larry. The purpose of this video is to show you how to enable a program called Trim after you've installed a solid state drive to your Mac. And we're going to do this uh, by showing you, first of all, what Trim is, why you should use it, how to check to see that it may already be installed in your Mac, which a late model Mac, if you bought it with an SSD in it, it probably well likely is. And then how to enable it if it isn't already installed. So let's find out a little bit more about uh, Trim. So to understand what Trim is, we need to take a look at really what happens when something is written to an SSD drive. So there's two small processes involved when something is written, and uh, the first one uh, begins with erasing the memory from the flash memory cells, and then the cells are programmed with the, the information that's being written. This is called a program erase cycle or a PE cycle. So it's important to know that SSD drives just don't last forever. Each PE cycle uh, uh, slightly exhausts the memory of a cell to a point where after a large number of cycles the, the cell itself is no longer usable. And so as more and more cells become unusable, the drive kind of becomes unusable at the end of the drive. So Trim steps in to help this. It, it, it works uh, from within the Advanced Host Controller Interface, or ACHI. And Trim lets the operating system know which blocks uh, of data are no longer in use uh, so that they are then available to be erased. So the operating system doesn't have to do a lot of fumbling around. Trim uh, does the heavy work. So as a result of all of this, uh, PE cycles are reduced, performance is improved, and the drive has a longer lifespan. So that's an important reason why to use it. So now, let's see how to set it all up. Let's first do a check to see if we have Trim active on this system. So you're going to go to the Big Apple up here, hit About This Mac, click System Report, scroll down the side here, and you're going to see SATA, SATA Express. Older Macs will have something about a SATA drive there, however it's term, termed. And when the the window opens up here. Uh, you're going to see something about the Apple controller that's controlling the hard drive. And note on here that you'll see that's a HCI version so and so supported. So it's it's already on the system. You go down here to the Apple drive itself. All the way down, you'll see where it says Trim Support right here. Mine says yes. It says yes because this is a MacBook Pro and it came out with a solid state drive. It's a late model. So were you replacing a hard drive right now uh, uh, with a solid state drive? Trim report would say new. And then of course the uh, Sudo there is going to ask you uh, your password, your admin password. Put that in there. Hit enter again. You're going to get a large paragraph of thanks telling you a little bit about Trim and uh, remind you that you're going to have to reboot your system when it's done. And then at the bottom, it'll ask you if you agree to have it installed. You type in yes, and that's it. You're done. Well, almost done. Uh, after that's all done, reboot your system. Come back up here to the Apple and check and make sure that's back in there again, just like we did before. Apple System Report, down to the SATA drives, click down to Trim Support, and it should say yes in there. And there you go. That's really all there is to it. So for a few keystrokes, uh, you get a lot back in return, namely a, across the life of your SSD drive, a better performing drive, and one that uh, will last longer. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping by Larry Talks Tech today. If you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. Also, like us. I hope you do. 
And if there's anything we can help you with on this or you have any questions, put them in our comments section. We'll be happy to get back to you. Awesome.